In this video, I'm going to look at the problem maximize set, which is equals to x1 plus x2, subject to the constraints x1 plus 2x2 less than or equals to 10, 2x1 plus x2 less than or equals to 10, x1, x2 greater than or equals to 0, and uh, the x1 and x2 being integers. I'm going to solve uh, this integer programming problem using the cutting plane method. So we have uh, that problem there. So I'll use a graphical method. So I'll start by drawing my horizontal axis, and then draw the vertical axis, and then label the x1 and the x2. I draw a grid, and then put the numbers on the grid, integers 0, 1, up to 10. Then look at uh, this constraint here. So for this constraint, when uh, x1 is equal to 0, we have x2 is equal to 5. When uh, x2 is equal to 0, we have x1 is equal to 10. So the line that uh, represents um, this constraint here is on this line here. I move on to the next uh, constraint, and this one here. When uh, x1 is equal to 0, we have x2 is equal to 10. When x2 is equal to 0, we have uh, x1 is equal to 5. So the line that uh, represents this constraint is uh, this one here. I go on and uh, shed the feasible region. The region which satisfies all the constraints is uh, on this one here. And then go on and label the corner points of the feasible region. And we have A, B, C, and D. The next step is to evaluate the objective function at the corner points of the feasible region. So I will draw a table. And we have point, and then the x value the x2 value and then the value of the objective function set so we have our points a b c d at point a we are having x1 is 0 x2 is 0 substitute these values into the objective function here and we would have our set is equal to 0 at point b x1 is equal to 5 x2 is equal to 0 Substitute these values into the objective function here. We have z is equal to 5. At point C, this point C here is the intersection of these two lines. So what we do is we solve these two simultaneously and we obtain that our x1 is 10 over 3, our x2 is 10 over 3. Substitute these values into the objective function here and we would have that our z is equal to 20 divided by 3. At point D, we are having x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 5. Substitute these values into the objective function here. We have uh, the z there will give us a 5. Our problem here was a maximization problem, so we look for the largest value of z in this column. That largest value is the 20 over 3, so we'll be saying that that's the maximum there. And uh, the interpretation of the solution there is that the solution is z is equal to 20 over 3, which occurs when x1 equals to 10 over 3 and x2 equals to 10 over 3. But in this case, we are given that x1 and x2, they are integers. So although this is a solution that we are having, this solution is not integral. So we will need to make a cut using the cutting plane algorithm. So what we now need to do is uh, to generate a cut that is the constraint which is satisfied by all feasible integer solutions but not by uh, the values that we are currently having, these ones here. So what I can do is looking at the graph there, look at the feasible region there and uh, look at uh, the integer points that are closer to these points here, the x1 and the x2 that are closer to this point. The points that are integer there, that are closer to that one, we have this one here and this one there. So I looked at the points which are on the boundary of the feasible region, but which are have integer values, which are closer to the values that you obtained previously. So using those two points, I can draw a line this one here a line passing through those two points and using those two points there we are having 
x1 is the 4, 2, then the other one is 2, 4. So we can have the equation of that line is x2 is equal to 6 minus x1. So what we now need to do is to exclude the region which is in between this one so that we exclude this point here which is not integer. So our new feasible region now would have this part excluded. So our new feasible region will be this one here after excluding that part. So I go on and label the corner points of this new feasible region. We have point A, point B, point C, point D, point E. And then go on and evaluate the objective function at the corner points of uh, this feasible region. So I'll draw a table and we have a point. I write the x1 value and the x2 value, the value of set. So at point A, we are having x1 is 0, x2 is 0. I substitute these values into the objective function here. We have set is equal to 0. At point B, we are having x1 is equal to 5 x2 is equal to 0. Substitute these values into the objective function here and we'll get our set is equal to 5. At point C, we are having x1 is equal to 4, x2 is equal to a 2. And both is lying on those uh, points which are integers there. So substitute these values into the objective function and we have a 6. At point D, we are having x1 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to 4. Substitute these values into the objective function here. We have set is equal to 6. At point E, we are having x1 is equal to 0. x2 is equal to 5. Substitute these values into the objective function here and we get that our set is equal to 5. Our problem here was a maximization problem. So we look for the largest value of set. But in this case, we see that the largest value we're having is 6. And this 6 here, we are having a tie. It is possible just because uh, an integer programming problem can have multiple optimal solutions. So in this case, what we are having there, we are having multiple optimal solutions because we are having two of them. So we have uh, the optimal solution is z is equals to 6, which occurs when x1 equals to 4 and x2 equals to 2 or x1 equals to 2 and x2 equals to 4. So we have multiple optimal solutions and those are the solutions there for the integer programming problem that we are given.